Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Here to do your love reading for the month of November. Well, from the time you're listening to the month of, through the month of November. Um, so this is a Virgo channel, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Uh, take what fits, leave the rest. This is for all Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Do hit the like, share, and subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate that. All right, you guys, let's get into this love reading. So obviously the dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out something coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. All right, let's see what's going on. So um, you're, something's coming out. You're going to find something out. Um, something's going to come to light. Maybe a wake up call or realization. Um, you're being asked to be lighthearted, take it in stride. Okay, self-indulgence, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. Okay, let's see what else is going on here for you. Palm tree. Okay, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. Wow, all right. Something's coming to light. Let's take a look and see. Something you're going to be finding out about. Um... Let me see what's going on here. What does Virgo need to know? If you guys want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video to book a reading with me. Let me see here. What is Virgo going to be finding out during this time period? What does Virgo need to know? <laughs> the Knight of Cups. Somebody's going to make a love offer to you, Virgo. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You're going to need to take this in stride. So I don't know if this is going to be a shocker. Um, this is something about a love offer. Okay. Let me see here. A romantic proposal, an invitation. Somebody's taking heart action, following their heart. Uh, being chivalrous, being swept off your feet. Hmm. Why do you need to take it in stride, Virgo? Great change is coming. Virgo, why do you need to take this in stride? Oh boy. Hmm. Might be feel like a burden for you how can love be a burden i don't know maybe from somebody that it's coming from you have scorpio sagittarius they could be on the cusp or individual signs this is a heavy heavy somebody's going to ask you to be their plus one or insinuate that that's something that they want i don't know if you're ready for that or this might be completely unexpected for some, it could be a weight off your shoulders, a burden that you've been carrying around. But also, it feels like this person's been carrying a very heavy burden <clears throat> um, by never expressing themselves to you, never telling you how they really feel or that they're attracted to you or they want to date you or that they have affections for you, um, a very warm heart. There's like, I feel like somebody here is like hitting the end, like it's they've come to the end of the road here with this. Um, these restrictions, um, it's a heavy, heavy responsibility not speaking up, not sharing how they feel. They want to get their this weight off their shoulders um, and saddle you with their love. <laughs> they want to get their weight off the weight off their shoulders, they want to indulge in you um that palm tree okay let me see here they want to indulge themselves in you <laughs> wow okay yeah ten of cups it looks like there's somebody here virgo um i see an energy showing up that is crazy for you they're in love with you okay and they just can't keep this to themselves anymore 
Um, as I said, this energy is playing out from this time period that you're listening through November. It's been an uphill struggle, an uphill batter, battle for this person to make this move towards you. I'm not really sure why. It might be something within them. Um, they've been doing some shadow work for sure. Healing. Their idea of self-indulgence is, is you, Virgo. This person wants stability, security, growth, endurance, like permanence. That's that Ten of Cups. They've been carrying around the wrong thing. You know? They're, they want to lift this, relieve the burden to express how they feel about you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> for some of you, this energy might actually be happening, uh, like occur in October. Because these are two ten cards. Um, for some of you, November 20th is going to be significant. Oh my goodness. Nine of Cups. I feel like this person, Virgo, wants to tell you that you are their wish come true. They realize that their dreams are only attainable with you in their life. Um, happiness. That you make them cheerful. You give them fulfillment. They're quite satisfied <laughs> with who you are. Like, it's just the overall wish coming true. I feel like this person might have been out wandering in the desert with shattered dreams, having nightmares, um, just very unhappy, maybe with other people they've been with. They just feel devastated and miserable without you. And they, your fulfillment, their fulfillment is within you. Okay. Um, I mean, creative, loving expression, marriage and fulfillment. This person may have said out loud to the universe that marriage or long-term commitment is a burden. Not something they can carry uh, or just add to their plate. I feel like that's changing. I feel like this person is having a change of heart here as far as wanting uh, these types of things. It feels like a change. They may have said, I'm, I'm never getting married. I have no intention. Or they may have been married and said they weren't doing it again. Or they may have never been married and said that it's just too much of a hassle. They enjoy their freedom. Mm. Let me see what else is going on with this person. My goodness, Virgo. Oh, wow. The sun. I mean, these cards are just absolutely amazing, except for this burden card. And I just feel like this person is in this place now where it's like they don't want to do their, they don't want to do life on their own. Life is drudge work for them. Maybe it's career work or stuff. Their obligations. They feel absolutely restricted and burned out. This person is completely burned out. They feel people have taken them for granted. Other people that they have been in contact with. If they were dating other people. Or connecting and in a relationship with another person. It's just... Or, or just the whole energy of like coming to the end of this period of their life where they're just all by themselves pushing, pushing forward and they're just overwhelmed. They, I feel like this person has really no one in their life that gives them the kind of support and energy that you give to them the freedom the you're very joyful you give them confidence you give them a sense of playfulness um they may even want to have a child with you their happiness and truth is with you and this is an energy i feel like this person came to realize this on the 19th of october it was some kind of a wake-up thing for them leo energy there Okay, could be a Taurus, can uh, Virgo, um, Capricorn. 
Oh my goodness, the lovers. Yeah, okay. So this person is showing up very stable, mature. They know what they want. And I feel like they want that love connection with you, with the lovers. They're making a huge choice. This is a choice of two for this partnership, for you both to come into perfect union. Um, the six can be a card about, well, sixes are about harmony and appreciation. Also self-sacrifice and loyalty. And this person, whatever sign they are, they are showing up with that pentacle energy. Um, very mature and grounded. Um, they might be high status. They might have taken risks in the past. They're not doing that anymore. Um, as far as negative type risks that had a, like a negative effect on them coming in as like someone who is secure and stable this page of swords i feel like this person there will be communication from them um that this person very carefully chosen words they don't want to argue and i don't know what that means maybe there was an argue um, they're waiting for the right time but i feel like there is going to be some type of communication from them out of curiosity um asking you questions they're going to be asking you questions if if you are interested if you want to come into union with them if you want to meet up if you want to get naked and roll around in the sheets with them um because that can be a sexual connection if you want to have a romance with them yeah absolutely oh, if you want to date if you want to connect yeah they're going to be asking you a lot of questions where you are what are you doing um curiosity types of questions um they're watching uh, this person is trying to find out if you're with someone. I feel like we've had this reading before, but I don't know who needs to hear this, but this person, phew, wheel of fortune, this is destiny. You are this person's destiny. Okay, um, Erica 610, they're giving me. And also I'm picking up someone's birthday. It's either 610 area code or June 10th is Gemini for some. Okay. Um, we also have, so I said Leo, I said Taurus, Aquarius, and there's Scorpio energy. I think I said that already. Oh yeah. Going to be some communication from this person. This is all about timing. <clears throat> about this is someone who has a classic love for you they're very like this person is like ready to go you you know i feel like they're getting very excited about the prospect that you two they feel like you're gonna say yes to them it's almost a level of confidence with this person where they feel like you're not gonna tell them no <laughs> you know what i mean um I feel like they, this person feels like it's fate, that you are their destiny, that you two are meant to be together, but they are curious to know if you're, if you've left or if you're going to leave somebody or if you um, are interested, they, but they do feel like you'll say yes. I don't know why this person feels that way. Um, they might feel that same connection or they're feeling your energy that you want them to say yes to you to go forward so they must be you guys must have some kind of like connection between the two of you yeah it's hidden the moon piscean energy wow yeah you guys are like you don't even realize it but you're putting that energy out there and this person's receiving it somehow okay this is like intuitive messages intuitive love messages this person's receiving i don't know if you're doing something or you're talking to this person or you're you know this person can hear you there's a connection that's the lovers that twin flame thing there's a connection they can hear what you hear they can they can see what you see this person can feel what you're feeling and vice versa if you wake up one day and you are having like extreme anxiety it's not your anxiety it's theirs 
if you're like over the moon happy one day um, and you don't know where it's coming from, it's coming from this person. Yeah, there's like a connection here. That's why they feel like you will say yes. Okay, Three of Pentacles. There's marriage. Three of Pentacles is collaboration, teamwork, coming into union, coming together, and the Six of Cups. Yep, somebody's returning here to you and returning to old mom old memories. <clears throat> they want to know if you if you are still willing, if you're still willing, motivated, able, ready to um, go to this next level with them because they're ready. Yes, they're coming in. That's why I feel like for you, you're going to be kind of surprised. Um, you're going to find out and it's going to come to light. And I feel like for you, some of you might have given up on something here and you were just like, it's never going to happen. It's out. I'm done. Moving on. And no, it's happening. Yep. Here comes that opportunity. The Ace of Pentacles. Absolutely. The golden egg. Yep. I feel like this person, they want to be with you. And they're coming back around. I feel like, you know, that six of pentacles energy, that's a soulmate energy too. And Virgo. Um, <laughs> I don't even know. This person's nostalgic for you. They just, they have very good memories of you. Very, very good memories. Okay. Capricorn, Scorpio, um, Virgo, Leo. There's Tower. Tower Strength. <laughs> Pluto, Mars Energy. You know what? That's what I said. This Tower, it's going to be like... It's going to be kind of shocking. This person coming in with this offer that they're making um it's going to have a really big influence on you somebody's birthday might be august 16th um you're gonna to have to like tame the beast you're gonna to have to keep your cool here when this tower moment hits it's just out of the blue virgo it is out of the, this so i don't know who the person is but i can tell you that it feels to me like this is someone that you absolutely washed your hands of. I don't know who it is. I don't know how far back it was. I don't know how long you guys were together. All I know is somewhere in your heart, you just concretely believe, even to this day, that there is no way in Jesus' sandals that this person is going to do this. And I feel like you're going to just, it's going to just throw you for a loop, sweeping you off your feet. And Virgo, I just feel like for you, maybe you're on the cusp of Leo Virgo. I feel um, that you are going to seriously have to steady yourself, like with all your strength. Um, because if you don't, you're going to fall over and hit your head on the coffee table because this is going to come right out of the blue. That you're not even going to know what to say. Okay. Year of the tiger. Year of the rooster. I don't know why I did that. Okay. Year of the dragon. This could be you. This could be your person. Year of the tiger again. Happening in a tiger year. Year of the dragon again. Year of the horse. Okay. Uh, year of the pig. Double pig. <laughs> when pigs fly, that's for sure. Year of the rabbit. Or when cows fly. Year of the ox. Oh my gosh. Year of the ox again. And year of the dog. All right, you guys. So that may be your sign. That may not be your sign. It might be your person's taken in stride i just kind of feel like this is something coming in here completely unexpected this isn't even something that you would ex like your person wouldn't even they don't even behave that way normally in life 
um, which is why I feel like it's going to be kind of a shocker for you. I don't, I don't want to say your person. It's just whoever this is. The way they come in is just... Holy cow. What the heck? Let me see. What are the messages? What's the hidden truth? It's behind all this with this person. Okay. I will wait for a sign from you. This person's waiting for, for, for you. They wish right now things could be different. And they want to feel a certain way again with you. You speak to me through music. Wow. So many things remind me of you, Virgo. I know that I crossed the line. I wonder if you are happy without me. Oh, they are thinking about you. You're not with this person. You are not with this person. And they are like, they're at the end of their rope. They can't contain their feelings or whatever's going on with them. They're coming in. This person loves you unconditionally. They are so in love with you. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Wow. And I can't stop thinking about you. <laughs> Virgo. Craziness. That is some crazy, crazy energy. I mean, this person just wants to indulge. What is this palm tree? I don't know if somebody lives where there's palm trees, but, but a, palm, a palm tree can represent stability, but it's able to bend with the wind. Oh my gosh, fate. This is a destined partnership. This person and you, it's, I don't know, you have a history together. It's like, how could fate be wrong? I feel like, how can destiny be wrong? No, it was meant to be. And I feel like this, like whoever this person is, they denied fate. They denied destiny. They withheld. They kept pushing back, pushing back, saying no, dismissing, avoiding, until you finally maybe gave up or just stopped investing. And now it's like, I don't know, this, like the only, the, the most negative card in all of this is the 10 of wands, which is just generally like, it's like stress. They are so stressed. They're exhausted by keeping up a facade or wearing a mask or pretending that they don't love you or that they don't care. No, they're not doing it anymore. Yep. Vulnerability. They're coming in open and vulnerable to express how they feel. This person comes in with passion, fate. They want to get to know you. They want to take the time for you guys to go slow and not rush and seriously. But this person's obsessed with you. Absolutely. Like obsessed with thoughts of you. They're not obsessed with you. Um, they're gripped by obsessive thoughts of you. It's like they just have to do this. They have to connect with you. They have to tell you how they feel. They can't contain it anymore and they're going to explode like that tower energy come in and sweep you off your feet. It's, it's almost like, gosh, like pouring everything out. It's just pouring it out, telling it all, telling you everything. It's just a complete night and day scenario here just completely out of baseline for this person to be this way and you i don't i don't even see like i'm not even i, I think for you all it's going to be is like hold on let me hold on to the rails here like i don't even see you going any further with it except trying to steady yourself like are you for real is this for real like who are you <laughs> okay trust the situation is calling for you to have faith wow virgo Okay, playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So this is definitely a divine connection. It's all about the timing. And I feel like somebody's not going to push you away anymore. Oops, sorry. Not, hold on. Not going to push you away anymore. Whoever this person pushed you away in the past or didn't want to follow through or didn't believe in 
one partner for life, whatever the case, that's changing here. That feels like it's just completely changing. Let me get, you know what? Hold on, you guys. Let's figure out what's going on here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries. Yeah, I feel like I got all of, okay. That's so strange. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Aries. Uh, 1973, we're picking up, I'm picking up 910. Um, somebody's 41, somebody's 30, um, they're giving me the numbers 517. Okay, Virgo, Libra, Taurus, Pisces, one more chance. Okay, Libra, again, that's three times, Leo and the double Gemini. Okay, let's see. Okay, October 8th, um, we have September 24th, um, 1983, we have 311, uh, November 18th, these might be birthdays, we have 310, um, 2012, significant year for someone, um, telephone number 8210, um, we have August 23rd. We have somebody is 38 years of age. Somebody lives at 184. Is it Prescott? I think I just, I'm saying Prescott or Cobbler. I'm hearing like a P, but they're giving me, okay, so this is what they're giving me. I don't know if these are different streets or whatever it is. It's, I hear Peach Cobbler or Cobbler, and I'm hearing Prescott. Okay, um, 310 again, we have November 8th, um, we have somebody's born 1980, okay, September 9th, um, September 15th, okay, I just want to get you guys, it's been a little while, I just want to get some names, I haven't done names in a while. And they're saying, get some names. Let's see what names we have. Okay. Oh, okay. I just heard Austin. And someone's name starts with an H. Oh, okay. Definitely an H. Somebody always says, ah, ah. H H ah, uh, okay. Mm. First they said Michael, and then now they're saying okay. So it was Michael, but somebody I'm not sure if I'm hearing Michelle or Rochelle or Rochelle. Okay. Okay, G, letter G, they're giving me the letter G. Okay, Jack. Okay, and now they're giving me Jamie. <laughs> Somebody calls someone Jelly. I don't know if it's Jelly Belly or Jelly. Okay, uh, somebody uses an app, a messaging app with that starts with a Q. Did somebody, okay, I know you weren't, they just did not say ICQ. I don't even know if anybody remembers that. Maybe somebody still uses that. I don't know if that's even an app anymore. I just heard, um, it's an app. First I heard it starts with a Q, but then I'm hearing ICQ. Okay. Um, hmm. Susan with a Z. Susan with a Z. 
S-U-Z-A-N. Okay. <laughs> oh, they just said, uh, did somebody just knock on your door? I'm hearing a knocking on a door. Okay, a knocking on a door. Okay. All right, somebody goes by the name Okay, they just said no, no. They said, it said Mr. King. Mr. King. That's what I just heard. Mr. King. I don't know what that means. Is it M-I-S-T-E-R or M-R dot King? Or just spelled out phonetically, Mr. King? Okay. I hope I'm not, my microphone is so close to my nose, so I'm probably breathing like Darth Vader. Sorry about that. Okay. Somebody drives one of those 18 wheelers, like a big rig, <laughs> drives like a big truck. 18 wheeler. Okay. Um, okay. All right, first they're giving me a cat um, with, I don't know if it's Mueller, M-E-U, and then, or Muger, Mueller or Muger. Maybe you named your cat that, or that's somebody's last name. M mule, or maybe a mule, Muger, Mugler. Okay, one more. Wow, oh, nice. Okay, um... So I'm hearing Robert Patrick, Robert Patrick. I don't know if that's one name or there's two names, Robert Patrick. All right. Very interesting. Let me get a couple of charms. All right. So we have a crab and we have a gingerbread man. Perfect. Somebody loves crabs, eats crabs or somebody has crabs. I hope you don't. Um, somebody likes seafood, eats crabs, crab legs. Um, there might be. Uh, or someone lives near the sea, or it's a cancer, <laughs> for sure, you're dealing with cancer. Okay, um, sea creatures, or some type of food, or restaurant, something to do with crabs, or crab legs. I mean, that's what you eat in crab, right? Crab legs? I mean, where's the rest? I don't think you eat anything inside the body, right? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know if it's that I don't know, or I just never paid attention. I know crab legs are amazing, but yeah i cleaned a crab out once and i threw up so maybe i never got that far to find out but anyway whatever who cares so we got crab legs here you also have a gingerbread man so um maybe somebody's just thinking about starting to make cookies or something for the holidays um this is definitely christmas something be significant around christmas time or somebody's name is ginger or uses ginger spice or something in their coffee or uses just ginger root or something for healing or medicinal uh, ways. Puts Maybe you put, if you boil up crabs or maybe you season with ginger or somebody does something like that. But definitely the gingerbread man does make me feel like maybe going out to eat around the holidays for crab legs or something. Um, or somebody is. And uh, or someone's name is ginger or has ginger colored hair red hair reddish brown or red all right you guys that was a really nice reading very sweet so let it play out the way it's meant to play out you guys i'm going to leave your message here remember if you're going to get a personal reading there's a link in the description box below this is actually the second time i've done this reading today i did it earlier i did an hour and the microphone I don't know what happened. It wasn't on, I guess. Some of it came through and some of it didn't. So that will that reading will never be heard because there's only bits and pieces, but I know what it's about, so I'll keep it for myself. But this is the second. Hopefully this is working with my new microphone and I'm not like being Darth Vader in your ear. But um, yeah, so again, go underneath this video in the description box. Every single thing you need to know how you can reach me how to get the extended readings, how to book readings with me, how to purchase any of my decks, everything is below. So just 
please don't leave me a comment. How do I book a reading? I mean, I don't tell you. So I'm going to leave that there and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you to all of the new mods and all of my former mods who are still mods. I appreciate you guys so much. One day I will get in here and do an actual live with, with you at some point. I just don't know when, but until then, I will see you guys tomorrow. All right. Take